How's it going, everyone? It is Monday, July 22nd, 2024. No picks from the prior video, but we are in snow. The other four picks here were just callouts that I had stored in here. We're going to take a look at those in a second. But snow was our only pick uh, from the 18th. A little bit of a bounce today. If we zoom out, I'm just going to use the M30 here. Uh, if we zoom out, so it looks like we're getting a pretty weak bounce. Nothing really crazy here. Um, still leaning on this level of support, or sorry, resistance. Uh, but nothing too crazy on snow. Just going to still kind of stick with it. And um, see, you know, kind of see what it does from here. Let's take a look at the SPY over here today. And after a couple of days of selling, we got a gap up and we are challenging this high from yesterday. So on a longer term D1 basis, I'm still um, fundamentally bullish um, as well as technically mildly bullish. So one bullish on those two fronts. Um, market has been floating higher. We're getting the pullback here. We're waiting to see if this is going to be the first in a series of moves higher or not. Um, I'm going to take out just some of these lines right here. You don't have to worry about these too much. But we came back down. We tested the bottom of this upward sloping trend line. Found some support around the AVWAPQ area. Um, and it seems like we are trying to make a move higher today. Now, I'm not sure if we'll have as much follow through or not. We're going to wait and see what the price action tells us. But here's just a zoomed out look. We have a gap up and we got a test, test. And we're just kind of chopping around here. Buyers and sellers are evenly paired. The fact that this gap upheld, I think, is mildly bullish on a shorter term basis. It tells us that buyers are engaged. Otherwise, this sort of big jump up would have been smacked down rather easily. It tells us that sellers are still in control. The fact that this held, I think, mildly bullish on a shorter term basis. So my shorter term market bias is fairly neutral at this moment right now. Um, we were expecting a bounce. We thought it, or we thought we might see a day of uh, rest on the 19th. Didn't quite happen. Today we have a gap up. We're seeing some back and forth action. So there's some trades to be taken on both sides of the market. Let's look at the M5 for today. So again, I mentioned this gap up. This is the prior day high. If we look at um, this level right here, here's a prior day high. Finding some resistance there, it gets smacked down into the gap. And you can notice the uh, the red candles here, some good volume. Then we get a nice bullish engulfing candle from the gap over here. Some good volume on that guy. Pause for a second, and then we start to rally back up. Test this level again, smack down, test. And then this is actually a very important bar at 11.05. Now, why is this important? So if we zoom all the way back over here, this looks pretty bullish. And if the next bar was green and we broke through here, we could have had a nice little bullish, a uh, little bit of a bullish trend day later in the day. So that was one scenario. So that was an interesting juncture. You also notice that we backed, we hit this uh, level here and we had a back down to the EMA that was not super deep, right? Look at this reversal early in the morning. This was far stronger, far deeper, lasted a little bit longer, volumes a little bit heavier. On this little pullback here, two bars, uh, and then we kind of pop right back up to get this little retest. So that was seemingly pretty bullish here. And then we got this huge, 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 huge long red candle here uh, from the high of the day. So when I saw this, I knew that we would probably at least test the low of the day. I wasn't sure if we would break it. So we're moving now, moving now. This is some good selling pressure. And then we're getting a lot of tails under body here. See all these tails at this gap fill? So when I saw this, I knew that we would start to move up higher, and then we started to move up higher. And now the market, having some tiny body candles at the end of the rally, I think we're going to get a little bit of a dip here. We're going to see um, if it ends up being um, a small dip, and then we actually launch and break through, or if it ends up being another test of the low of the day. The nice thing is that the range is decent. We're going from 551 all the way to 554. So there's, there's a little bit of range in here. So I've been able to take make some money from shorting near the high of the day and buying uh, from the low of the day. Um, and I assume that 
there is a range bound structure for the day. So that's my thesis for the day. And that's what gives me confidence to take certain trades and not take certain trades. So um, over here, I'm waiting to see really, I want to see some more tails above body, or I want to see some sort of bearish engulfing candle that would get me more short. When I see this sort of price action here, I'm not necessarily bullish, but I'm not necessarily bearish. So my current market bias for today um, I'd say mildly bullish. I'm tending to favor the long side just because this gap up is held. It tells us that buyers are, you know, putting their foot down um, around 551. So maybe a one bullish, but I will take trades on both sides today. Uh, crowd has been a nice short today. Um, took a few wins on crowd. Testing that um, line right there, that low plus trend line coming into play. You can see it's not bouncing with the market here, but we're close to support. Um, I am actually in JMIA. That has been a really, really nice stock now breaking through. It's high of the day. Lots of relative strength. Lots of volume. <clears throat> um, coin has been nice as well. Getting through, I believe it's right at its high of the day. Compressing a little bit. So uh, a couple of nice plays coming up today um so how can we take advantage of the current market conditions well the other thing we have to keep in mind is that we have mega cap tech earnings coming out this week uh, i'm going to do a double check of earnings whisper on those dates so main mega cap tech earnings this week are google and tesla um so that's what we want to keep an eye out for tesla has lost a little bit of its uh market luster here so it may not be as market moving as it was before but we got a pretty nice uh pretty nice move very recently so it's reclaimed a good chunk of that uh market cap over there uh google remains a tech giant um kind of selling off a little bit before earnings over here but has made a nice run since the last earnings announcement um, so that's what we have to keep in mind for this week. There's not a lot of economic reports, but we do have GDP um, for Q2, I believe, will be coming out this week. So we'll get the first look at that, which will be important. Uh, and then some other stuff here, PCE is coming at the end of the week. Uh, and then next week, we have the FOMC statement on the 31st, as well as some more mega cap tech earnings that week. So um, that's what we're seeing here. We may potentially see a rally into those mega cap tech earnings, but shorter term, I am still mildly, uh, pretty neutral in the short term. Um, I will wait to see if we see any price confirmation of that move. Uh, and then I will get into that move. So let's see how we can take advantage of, um, what we're seeing today in the market. Um, the first one that I like quite a bit, um, JMIA. I really like what I'm seeing in the stock right here. First, we're testing this high from July 16th. You can see the price action first on the daily chart. Let's zoom out here. This is what I love about this chart. So market sells off three days in a row, right? Stock compresses, compresses, compresses. Market gets a little bit of a pause here. This stock starts to go way higher. Now, how do we take advantage of this? Well, I called it out in the video on Friday. And I mentioned that we had a pullback here. You can see that this level, it wasn't a very strong smackdown. It was a very weak pullback. And then we started to compress and we started to find some buyers at this level. So when we broke through this level this morning, JMIA was on my radar. Once we confirmed that break over here, I got in around 1366. Uh, and then the stock has been moving up higher and higher. Volume has been increasing. This is a nice move. Now, as assessing this level, we might see a little bit um of you know potential some profit taking maybe shake out some more sellers but just look at the price action on the way down versus the price action on the way up this is a choppy move volume is a lot lower this is a very organized move lots of volume lots of steady buying here we're attacking this very strongly and we have a little bit of market tailwind in our favor so if the market can advance past this position um, I think JMIA is going to be a very, very nice pick. So even though I'm in the position right now, um, I'm going to wait. If I wouldn't enter it right here, I would personally wait for a bit of a pullback. And then I would get in the stock. Um, and hopefully I'd like to see this stock close above its high from um, the 16th over here. 
if they can do that, um, then I um, will feel pretty comfortable taking a swing on this position. So uh, JMIA is going to be one of our picks. Um, so we're going to keep that guy. Let's take a look at DocU over here. Uh, it's getting above uh, that 200 ASMA, which is not too bad. Uh, I call that coin earlier as well. That started to make some moves. Urban um, holding up pretty well here. We got a little test of this level. Um, I don't mind potentially taking a little PCS on Urban. Um, but we're going to take these guys out for now. So we're just going to leave in uh, JMIA and we are going to leave SNOW. Um, so let's give, let's see if we can find one day trade long, one day trade short over here. Um, let's go to bearish. Let's see what is weak right now. GO is very weak. So on the, on the weak side here, if the market cannot really advance through the high of the day, or we kind of get a failed breakout and we get sucked back into the range, um, then I think I will take some shorts. If we're able to hold this breakout level over here, maybe compress for a little bit, survive a uh, potentially a benign bearish cycle, then I would feel a lot better um, about going long. So those are the two setups I see for today. Uh, Go has been a pretty big move down. Looks like it may potentially be at a little bit of support. So let's see if Go can break that support. I'm going to put an alert here. Um, it's a little bit illiquid, so let's see if I can find a better stock for today. Um, there is Mobley, also very choppy. I'd want to wait for a bounce to that 8 EMA. Not crazy about this. It's a nice D1 breakdown for sure, but these just doesn't have a lot of follow through. Um, so once the once this move has happened, this is already the move. You have to get in over here. Doesn't have a lot of follow through. Crowd, we've already taken a look at. DOCN, um, not too bad. Some decent volume. There's a little bit of support potentially here. BGNY, not the best D1 chart. Let's see a little bit more momentum. Donut I do like here. You can see this downward sloping trend line. We're finding some resistance here. And now we're starting to reject off that level. Um, I would not mind, you know, would not mind taking Donut as a short potentially. I'm just going to add it to my tags. Uh, you can see the market is starting to advance past this level. So this is going to be a key point here. If this gets smacked down, we have to be pretty careful. Um, Disney has been quite weak, starting to accelerate over here. Uh, it is close to some resistance. Yeah, pretty choppy move. So I um, don't think I would take this as a day trader. Let's see what's on Bear Grinder. Well, there's Disney. Let's check W. Not the best R of all, but it's getting that's low of the day. It's close to support at 50 yeah so this is a nice it's a pretty tall bounce but you can see how we get this bounce 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 so we're trying to break through this level not quite able to do it there we go so um if i'm gonna put an alert here actually if w can break through its low of the day that could be a nice opportunity um let's just see what's on red royal flush I always like to check here gps was weak we already checked out crowd what about pop bear go cabba kss i want to see some stuff with some volume uh mgm potentially you got some green dots so it could be a reversal setup here um it's reversing here but it's found a little bit of a tail not crazy about taking this kind of short i'd like to see a double top first this could just be a pullback into trend here and then we start to make the next leg of the trend <clears throat> uh vz has jumped oxy also not crazy about that um yeah i mean really the best one that i'm seeing today is crowd even though it's right on this support, um, which I'm really not too crazy about here. 
yeah, not crazy about that level of support. So I would like to see a little bit of a bounce, potentially short over here. Um, if I can short at 266, maybe that would be a pretty nice short. And then we could probably get to 261, 262. That's what I would like to take uh, potentially. But I like how it's not bouncing with the market. It's been very, very weak, very, very flat to the floor. The floor. I actually took a win here. I took a little bit of a loss here and then took another win later today on a uh, crowd. Um, yeah, can't really find a lot of great shorts at the moment. Um, let's just see what is on the bearish side. If I can't find anything else, then I'm just going to stick with JMIA. Um, TGX. It's a nice little engulf of that level. Test, test, test. So if they can have some relative strength here, that could be pretty nice. Set an alert at the high of the day. Let's take a look at Tesla. Not a lot of volume in Tesla. Um, I do like this setup back here certainly very strong you could have gotten in over here uh, and rid that a little bit higher again we are close to earnings so i wouldn't want to push it my srg was selling off a little bit here mstr not as strong as coin it's digesting those gains from the prior day Um, yeah, it's looking like JMIA OHI is pretty nice. Uh, it's a nice steady grinder here. Pull back, move up higher. Um, if I can get it on a pullback, that'd be pretty nice. Some kind of breakthrough of this line and then ride that guy up higher. Um, not crazy about Zillow. I just want some stuff with some volume today. Toast, um, not the worst, not the best. We want something that's really good. BSX doesn't tend to move too much. Yeah, pretty, just not very volatile. All right. Um, well, they can't find anything super great right now, especially on the long, not too much on the long or the short side. Um, I'm going to look at my tags once here. And then we may call it a day. So let's see what I have. Tag today, I have Disney, Dona, Crowd, GPS. DNB looked great earlier today. Now it's giving back a lot of those gains um, over here. So yeah, pretty stair-steppy stock. Uh, certainly some selling pressure here. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to go with JMIA. And uh, what I want to see here, now I'm already in the long, but if I were to take it again, um, what I'd want to see is, so you can see the stock is selling a little bit earlier before SPY, so that tells us that there's some selling pressure on the stock. I want to see that this stock doesn't really do too much, right? It just kind of doesn't retrace too hard. The retracement's quite weak. We don't really get anything going. So that's what I want to see in this stock. Um, if I see that, I see kind of a weak pullback um, and the market has may perhaps hugs the high of the day, um, I wouldn't mind getting in on JMIA. So keep an eye out for this stock. Um, watch the level of retracement from this level. If it's a huge smackdown, I would not quite get in on the stock. If it is a, a more meager smackdown, then I would look to get in uh, on that trade. So that is your pick for today, JMIA. Thanks for watching, everyone. And let's take a look at how this guy did and how Snow is doing on tomorrow's video.